much for checking out my channel. My name is Miranda Seuss. I am a wedding photographer based in New Jersey and in New York. I want to give you some tips because you just booked your wedding venue, you picked your wedding date, and now you're ready to either pick your wedding photographer or you've already booked one and you wanna have the best and most gorgeous, flawless bridal prep photos, bridal portraits, getting ready with your girls on your wedding day. So I got some tips, quick five tips for you, and then once you're done watching this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more tips for your wedding day, and then check out the blog post link below because it goes more in depth in making sure that you have the most beautiful bridal prep photos. Okay, so tip number one is picking the location for your bridal prep pictures that has lots of natural light coming in. So that means oversized windows or just lots of windows available to work with when it comes to natural light. Because a lot of times, wedding photographers don't like setting up a bunch of flash equipment, it kind of gets in the way, or uh, they don't have that kind of experience with flash, so they really want that natural light effect on your wedding day, and it makes such beautiful, moody, or bright and airy photos when you have the right light for your wedding day. Big, big, big thing I see in a lot of uh, bridal prep locations is an AC unit. In Inside the window is a big no-no. It comes off very uh, ugly. <laughs> let's put it that way. In your photos. So let's try to avoid finding a location that has an AC unit in the window. Okay, tip number two is on your wedding day, you're gonna have your bridesmaids, your mother, mother-in-law, so many people involved uh, in getting ready with you. And there's gonna be a lot of garbage. There's gonna be a lot of clutter. There's gonna be food, there's drinks everywhere, empty cups, everything. It's just, uh, it could be a big mess. So to avoid that, let's carve out an area in the room that's just dedicated for your photos. So this could be in a cor corner, like maybe 10 feet by 10 feet area, that's good, um, that has no clutter. So in this corner, you're gonna want your dress, all the details of your wedding day already set before the photographer arrives. That means your invites, your state, uh, stationery, um, the florals, uh, your dress, your, um, if you want it to, you put it on a mannequin, something like this behind me, or you can have it hung up on a hanger, like you can have it customized. You can get these on Amazon or Etsy, link below if you are interested in this other beautiful hanger as well for your dress. Now the dress needs to be unstuffed and steamed and out of the bag, ready to go before the photographer arrives. Tip number three in this corner, kinda involves tip number three here, is a full length mirror. You're gonna need that full length mirror and it needs to be mobile. So it's in an area where you can see yourself once you get in your dress. And it's mobile because we wanna put it in the right location for the photographer to take your pictures in front of the mirror uh, near a window. So full length mirror, if your bridal suite does not have one available, you can order one on Amazon, super easy. Um, you can have it shipped to that location or just bring it with you on the wedding day and I'm sure one of your girlfriends might already have one but if they feel like oh my god it's gonna break or something just ship it out it's a good idea to have one and most hotel rooms don't have one so be prepared with a full-length mirror thank me later okay so tip number three or no we already did tip number three number four is I have to check my notes I didn't memorize number four Tip number four is creating a playlist, a music playlist before your wedding day. This is going to set the mood, the vibe of the wedding morning. So create a playlist that all the music that you love, especially where all your girls are going to have really good vibes and good energy around. So this playlist, obviously you got to couple it with a Bluetooth speaker. So make sure you bring that Bluetooth speaker as well. And this really makes it really good vibes uh, during your photo sessions too. So having that Bluetooth speaker, charge it up, make that playlist before your wedding day is tip number four. And the final tip number five is where to find this location, right? You can search VRBO, you can search Airbnb, 
you can search local hotel rooms just make sure they're big suites especially the ones that have connecting rooms is a great idea because an extra space for just getting ready for the hair and makeup and another space for the photo sessions and then you can also check out peerspace.com so if you're in new york or new jersey this is a very uh, <clears throat> popular place to hourly rent a studio location like where people do photo shoots um, or just rent out by the hour a, a house apartment whatever it is um, in case the location of your wedding your venue doesn't have a really ideal bridal suite or you just don't want to get ready there which is totally understandable okay so those are five tips check out the blog post below to check out more and then also hit the subscribe or like button it really helps out my channel so more brides like you can be informed on having the most picture perfect wedding okay bye thank you for watching